What's going on? Welcome back to the channel and another unboxing of the latest knife in the Rambo series. This thing took forever to get here, but I'm so excited. It's finally here. It is the Rambo Last Blood Heartstopper. All right, so let's take a look at the box. Check out all the sides. Uh, this is a really good looking box. Nice packaging. And this is a, uh, a first edition, so it's a limited run. Uh, this is number 1580 of 5000. And uh, to be honest, I have opened this box before the video just to make sure that everything inside is good to go. We got an overall length of 15 inches for the 9-inch blade. So this should be a substantial knife, to say the least. And here we are. We've got a certificate of authenticity. Got to have that. Set that off to the side. Little foam cut out there for the blade, I guess. And, uh, and here it is. Wow. It's a really good looking piece. Um, it's got a lot of weight to it. It's really, really solid. Full tang design. We'll set this here for a second. Let's take a look at the rest of the box. Nice thick foam pad here. And, uh, some cardboard. That uh, looks like it covers the, uh, the sheath in the bottom of the box. Okay, so let's take a look at the sheath now. It's uh, really like a top grain leather. It's a good looking finish to this. It's almost like an antique look to the uh, to the leather. I've always liked the brown leather versus the black. Um, it, the black is fine, but the, the brown just has so much character. It's going to age over time. Uh, you've got this loop on the bottom here for your leg strap and your leg tie, which is also included. Heavy stitching. All right, now let's take a look at the blade itself. It's got a nice weight to it. Let's peel this plastic off. Got a uh, little protector there for the tip. Nice little touch. It's got a great weight to it. Um, really just a, a nice looking piece. You've got the uh, Rambo Last Blood on one side of the blade here. And then if you flip it over it actually says the first edition and it once again we see the 1580 of 5000. This is a false edge here, but this is not. This is a really sharp, sharp knife, sharp blade. Um, the handle is really nice. You've got a really sharp sort of pummel there. Um, really sharp. I guess it's for smacking skulls. You have a multicolored uh, lanyard there. You could tie up, but it kind of matches the handle really well. I like the, uh, the finger grip there. All right, now it's time for the cut test. Let's see if this thing is sharp right out of the box. As you can see, this bad boy's razor sharp. But how does this knife compare to the other knives in the series? Okay, here we have the heart stopper stacked up against the knife from the third movie and from the second movie. And uh, to give you an overall length on this thing, you're looking at about 18, 18 and a half inches for the, uh, for the Rambo 3 knife. 15, maybe 15 and a half uh, for the heart stopper. And then closer to 16 inches uh, for the First Blood Part 2 knife. And these fairly similar in length. I think the uh, second movie knife kind of edges out the heart stopper just a tad. And of course, there's really no comparison to the uh, the third. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's a machete, really. All right, so there you have it, the heart stopper versus the knife from the third movie and the knife from the second movie. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the knife from the first movie or the fourth. Uh, the fourth, they didn't really release a signature edition. And the, uh, the one from the first movie, eh, I gave that one to my son, so I think you can understand. So like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all have a blessed day, and I will see you next time.